This video shows the process to replace the computer side cord on an Apple power brick. These cords often break from stress or physical damage, but it's actually quite possible to repair them. The must-have tools are the soldering gun with solder and the needle nose pliers. We also use some screwdrivers as pry bars and a multimeter to make sure the new cord worked before installing it. You can buy a brand new cord online for less than $10 through Amazon.com or we also make a video on how to cut the bad section out of your old cord and reconnect it to the power brick. Just click the link. To verify the new cord works, set the multimeter to its conductivity setting and hold one lead on the white wire. And then touch the other lead to the two middle pins. Then repeat the process with the black wire and the two outside pins. If any of the pins don't have conductivity as shown, you know you have a problem with that cord. We removed both cords to make it easier to work on the power brick. In this next step, we're using brute force to break the case open. Have a helper hold the brick and use the needle nose pliers to spread it apart. Be patient as you work around and just pop it open from each side a little bit. Your brick may be a bit different, but on this one, once we popped both corners open, we just had to force the halves apart until the last bit broke open. To access the internal components, we wipe off the grease and pulled up the tape that holds down the copper shielding. Then pry the shielding up. Yours may be easier, but this one had some solder holding down one of the tabs. We simply use the soldering iron to melt it while prying up on the copper with a screwdriver. You can see right here where the solder was kind of a big mess and we just had to melt it off. Once it's free, fold the copper shielding up out of the way. Now repeat the process pulling the tape off the plastic insulation and folding it back out of the way. Since the shielding springs up into the way, we just use some packing tape to hold it down and to hold the brick in place. As we get ready to solder in the new cord, it's probably worth mentioning that if you aren't a soldering pro, you might want to watch some how-to soldering videos before attempting this repair. If you do overheat the circuit board, it could possibly ruin it. You can see where the two existing wires are soldered into the board. We heat those up as we pry down lightly on the wires with a screwdriver. To make sure we get the right wires back in the right holes, we remove only one at a time. Then we slide the wire from the new cord into place and solder the connection. Now that the white wire is soldered into place, we use an extra set of hands and pop out the black wire in the same way, just wiggling on that wire with a screwdriver as we heat it up with a soldering gun from the top. Now slide the black wire up in through the hole and solder that connection into place. With both wires soldered into place and when you're sure the solder job is good, Fold the wires in a bit and position the plug back into the brick body. Remove the tape. Fold in the plastic insulation and then fold in the copper shielding over the top of that. We used a little piece of duct tape to hold it all together and then plugged in the main power cord and hooked it onto the computer to make sure it worked before we glued it all back together. The cord flashed green once and then turned to orange to tell us that it was charging the computer and everything seems to be working. Once you've verified that it's working correctly, put the springs for the cord wrap brackets into the little groove, then push them into place with a little bit of pressure. Set the cord wrap brackets into place. Then carefully apply super glue all the way around the edges, except for on the cord wrap brackets.
Once you've got the glue on, it helps to have an extra set of hands as you set the cover back on top. Take your time and carefully press it down into place, making sure that you don't super glue your fingers together. Give it a few good taps to make sure it's seated all the way, and then set something heavy on top of it until the glue sets. You're all done.